Well, this concludes my first online painting demonstration. I appreciate you watching. As you can see, I'm not the fastest painter. This painting took about two and a half hours in real time, and that's not counting the drawing. Part of the reason for this is that I experimented with an unusual palette and had to sort of grope my way through. Is the painting totally worked out? No, there's still more that needs to be done on it. But I've taken it far enough along to show you kind of how I work. Is it uh, as good as it can be? No, of course not. Can it be better? Yeah, absolutely. But you get the idea. I find it an interesting challenge when uh, working from photos to experiment with a variety of possible palettes. In the video discussing the selection of this palette for the demo, I explained the reason for the uh, primary colors chosen and my selection of the extended analogous palette. Here is the palette that I uh, chose for this painting. At the top you can see I worked with the three primary palette, ultramarine blue, alizarin crimson, cadmium yellow pale. The row right below that is what was actually on my palette plus white. On the far left the, uh, is a violet, then a red violet, and then the red which is the alizarin crimson, and then a red orange and orange. Those were all mixed from the three primaries at the top. You can mix the ultramarine blue and the alizarin together and you get the violet and the red violet. The second row below is a, uh, is, has white added to, those, uh, to the row of colors above just so you can see the uh, variation. And then of course uh, the red is um, the alizarin and a little bit of white mixed with that. The two colors on the far right, red, orange, and orange were mixed from alizarin crimson and cadmium yellow pale. And um, they are red, orange, and orange. The one color in common with this whole palette is the alizarin crimson. Every color here on the palette has alizarin crimson in it. If you haven't seen that uh, video that I explained these color, the color selection for this palette, I encourage you to go uh, check out that for, for more details. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this four-part series. And uh, if you'd like to see more of my work, which I hope you would, I, hope, I invite you to go to my website, which is potoshnik.com, P-O-T-O-T-S-C-H-N-I-K. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it.